This is a neutrino transmission. This is a neutrino transmission. Calling Moon Base Alpha by neutrino transmission. Where from? Don't know, but it's no random transmission. They're calling us. Calling Moon Base Alpha by neutrino transmission. Let's go. Identification. This is Moon Base Alpha. Identify. Moon Base Alpha. Moon Base Alpha. This is Space Station One, Texas City, Planet Earth. I repeat, this is Space Station One, Texas City, Planet Earth. Please stand by. Tony, keep that channel open. They've broken contact. Well, get them back. Tony, what about neutrino transmissions? When we left Earth, the first neutrino experiments had just begun. They can cover billions of miles in a matter of seconds. But could they have perfected that system so soon? Yeah, sure. We've been in space for months. Which in Earth terms is decades. Right. Okay. Okay. So it could be Earth. Moon base Alpha. Moon base Alpha. Respond. This is Commander John Koenig of Moon Base Alpha. Commander, this is Dr. Charles Logan, senior space scientist, Texas City. I think you will understand when I tell you that our year is 2120 A.D. Please listen carefully. In 72 hours, a galactic eclipse will cut our communication channel to you. But in that time, if you can act quickly enough, we are capable of transferring you back to Earth. I repeat... A return to your own planet Earth is possible if you put yourselves completely in our hands. That's fantastic. It could be. If that's really a transmission from Earth. The story checks out. In 72 hours, an entire constellation will begin to move between us and Earth's solar system. Communications will be impossible for almost a century. Standing by for construction details for the transference dome. Commander Kearney, this is Logan. Is your science officer ready to receive our instructions for building the transference dome? No, Dr. Logan. She is not. Commander, we have time to make the transfer, but you must start construction work now. What was the name of the wife of the first man in space? Hey, the natives are growing restless. Let's hope Logan can calm them down. Right. The first man in space was the Russian Yuri Gagarin. He was unmarried. The first married man in space was the American Alan Shepard, May 5th, 1961. His wife was Louise Shepard. Who won the World Series in 1998? I don't need a computer for that. The 1998 World Series was won 4-3 by the Boston Red Sox against the St. Louis Cardinals. This was the last time the Red Sox won the series before all competitive sports were abandoned in the year 2026. How about the transference dome? Forgive my caution, Doctor. Maya, as soon as you have Dr. Logan's instructions, I want you to contact the engineering section and have construction started. Wowee! Hey! <laughs> Come in. Progress? Mm-hmm. Oh. oh, wow. 
That is fantastic. Well, it's pretty fantastic. It took me six months to reach this stage of perfection. How about a sample? No, thanks. I've tasted your last concoction. Oh, come on. It's not going to affect you. You're right, Tony. It doesn't have any effect at all. All I wanted was an honest opinion. <laughs> what does an alien know about beer anyway? Give me that. Do you know your problem, Tony? No, what's my problem, Maya? You're prejudiced. Me, prejudiced? Just because you look funny, come from the planet Psychon and turn into an eel the last time I put my arms around you? Prejudice. That's not prejudice. What is it, then? Fascination. Now, come on, how about a hand with these? Look, Maya, how about a ha hand with these? <laughs> Listen, everybody's in command center waiting to celebrate our return to Earth. Well, don't just stand there. Come on. Carlo, we have 60 hours in which to indoctrinate the people of Alpha. The material is assembled, Dr. Logan. I'm ready to transmit. Hmm. Hmm. Moon Base Alpha. Moon Base Alpha. This is Space Station One, Texas City, planet Earth. Texas City is one of several metropolitan complexes which now comprise the inhabited area of what you used to call the United States. You might like to see one or two of the others. Pacific City and Grand Metropolis. What you used to know as Boston, New York, New Jersey, the whole eastern seaboard. You can see we've come a long way. The cities are fantastic. What about the countryside? Nobody lives there now. And, in any case, our personal telesensual systems can create the illusion of spring in the Rocky Mountains, fall in old New England, simply by the touch of a button. But why not just go there? Go to the Rockies in the spring and New England in the fall? The pollution of the 21st century. It destroyed everything. Trees. Crops. Rivers. That's why we built the metro complexes and retired to them. Now, of course, who needs nature? Who needs nature? Who needs nature? Uh, who needs nature? Well? Well, um, on an ascending scale of ten, I'd say that you'd reach maybe um, two. You know your problem? You got no taste, kid. <laughs> Before I tasted this, I had. Hmm. Pilot. Uh, Maya. Uh. <laughs> Less than 30 hours to go, and Koenig insists we transfer test instruments first. In his place, would you do any different? Test package is assembled. Sensors in the antenna are designed to simulate blood pressure, respiration, and body temperature. This is the heart of the system. With this recorder, we can follow the readings all the way to Earth. Dr. Logan, test package in position. It's all yours from now on. Thank you, Commander. Transfer procedure green. Neutron factor green. All charges green. Reception area. Elation begins.
Pretty good, model ring. Heart rate normal. Body temperature normal. Respiration normal. Go ahead, Madame. Now I expect a slight temperature drop as the process begins. 37. Heart and respiration should remain normal. 34, 33, 32, 31, 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 24, What is it? 24. Adverse weather conditions. Freak storm activity? Worse than that. Commander Kearney. We have seismic reports of small quakes in the Gulf of Mexico. In 1999, our earthquake prediction systems were highly sophisticated. And they're even more sophisticated now, but this area of Central America is still too unstable for any exact predictions. Could those small shocks affect your calculations? Well, of course they could. Will you delay the transfer? Delay? Why? This is simply a test package. Temperature falling. Heart respiration normal. Good. Good. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Interference zero. Six, five. Still zero. Excellent. Four, Let's go. Three, two, one. package is here with us on Earth. Readings. Heart, respiration, and temperature, normal. Fantastic! Hey. Don't pull up for our side. <laughs> Dr. Logan, what's the forecast on the quake activity? There is no precise forecast, Commander. Is there any risk? Yes. Whether you take it or not is up to you. How many can you transfer at one time? Three. No precise quake forecast. That means the whole transfer process could be affected. Yeah. The earth tremor could distort the beam reflection. John, why don't you hold off just for a while? Time, Tony. We have no time. Room for two more. You never know when you need a doctor. Why should they go first? Why do you want to take the risk? They said three, didn't they? You told me heroes were fools who had a talent for nothing else. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Tony. You're in command of Alpha now. Let's go. Good luck. You know, this stuff doesn't taste so bad after all. Ladies and gentlemen, this is no longer just an experiment. We have at last escaped from the laboratory. Respiration, heart, temperature rates. Are you okay? Let Alpha be my long lost past. <laughs> Ready to go, John? You call the signal, Stoney. Dr. Logan, take good care of him. Dr. Russell, heart and respiration normal. Temperature falling 98.1, 97.1. Commander Koenig, Alan Carter, similar temperature drops, 96.3. 9.8, 8.7, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 8.8, 
not here, Alpha. Are they there? Are they still there? Well, they gotta be there, Alpha. They gotta be there. Pushed our luck too far. Something went wrong. Rain. Trees. Well, at least it's an atmosphere we can breathe. They said that everything between the cities was desert, was a wasteland. So wherever we are, we're not on Earth. It's a wonder we're alive. Get that power line hooked up right away. Carla, check the main computer. Dr. Logan, what's happening down there? Give us time. Time? What for? Where are they, Doctor? I want to know what's happened. The equipment's damaged. We don't know how badly yet. We have a reading. Dr. Russell, heart, respiration, temperature, normal. Commander Koenig, normal. Tony, wherever they are, they're alive. Dr. Logan, we're reading them. They're somewhere in space. You've got to find them. <laughs> <laughs> John, you're gonna need that yourself. Well, we'll all be warm if Alan ever gets that fire started. <laughs> high up, high up, burns so bold. Can't you see she's feeling cold? <laughs> well, now you can see why I got drummed out of the Boy Scouts. Hey, will you tell me something? Anything if you stop singing. Hey, if we're not on Earth, where are we? We could be anywhere in the universe. And we'll never get back. We'll get back. If you were Logan, what would you do? I'd recreate the conditions that caused the error. And pinpoint our location. <coughs> yeah, well, he better not drag his feet. That eclipse takes place in less than 24 hours. He'll have time to spare. Get that fire started, will you? Hey, I got a suggestion. Let's go find some shelter, huh? All right. Oh, oh, come on. I can walk. <laughs> You. It's a damp air. You're not used to it. Damp air. A cold. Now, look, you better stay away. After the germ-free environment of Alpha, we've no resistance. Common cold can be as lethal as cholera or black plague. You're the doctor, Helena. There's no immediate danger. It could develop into pneumonia. <laughs> Logan will be recalculating now. We'll be on Earth before it ever gets there. <coughs> How's that recalculation coming? Too many variables. The computer's acting up. I'll stay on it. Logan here. Yes, sir. I want seismic units to reproduce that last earthquake effect. Yes, sir. I'm not sure we can detonate. I want it set up anyway. Alpha, any change? 
Respiration, heart rate, temperature, all normal. Wait a minute. Normal except for Dr. Russell's temperature. It's rising. Rising? That probably means infection. Dr. Logan, you've got to find him. Fast. I'm doing everything I can at this end. I have search teams scanning the desert. Earth's desert is uninhabited. They couldn't breathe that polluted air. They'd be dead by now. I know that, but I don't want to overlook any possibility. Animals. I wonder what kind. Atmosphere, rain, birds, vegetation and animals. Chances are there's going to be some kind of intelligent life form too, huh? Climbing. Time to reprogram. We don't have time. Doctor, the, the computer is not acting. Moonbase Alpha, we have a problem. Oh, well, how about that? Join the tribe, Space Station One. Define, please. We've set up a seismic unit to simulate the identical Earth tremor conditions at the time of transference. But? But our main computer is damaged. Won't activate. No time to repair and reprogram. Impossible to detonate. I think I can handle it from here, Tony. Hold on, Space Station One. We have an expert who thinks she can solve your problem. Here she is. How heavy would the force be, Doctor? The explosives would give us the equivalent of a force beta zero quake. At our present rate of speed and distance from you, I can send a beam down in 30 seconds. Can you clear a channel in your computer? We can sure try. I've cleared a channel for you, Moonbase Alpha, but I don't know how long I can keep it locked. I'm matching up with you, Space Station One. Matched up. Ready to beam. Hope we don't do a wipeout. Well, if you do, we'll be the first to let you know. Ready, Space Station One? As ready as we'll ever be. Switch on for detonation. Now. Somewhere on Earth. Oh, that's 
That's... That's impossible. They'd be dead if they were on Earth. Is it possible that your pollution didn't affect everywhere on Earth? That somewhere there's some freak valley, an air bubble almost, somewhere where they could still breathe? Not possible. We've surveyed the whole of the Earth's surface for such a place for experimental purposes. No. No, whatever planet they're on, it can't be Earth. We can do nothing but continue to recalculate and hope that we can do it in time. Dr. Logan, if when you locate Commander Koenig, what happens? He has no transference dome. Reverse the magnetic field on the projection pods on your transference dome and he can be returned to Alpha. How long? How long have they got? In 18 hours, the eclipse will block out all communications. And there'll never be another chance? Not in your lifetime, Yasko. Look, I'm sorry, everybody. I, well, I, I guess I haven't been thinking the way I should. We still have time to send some of you back down to Earth. If anybody wants to try it. Look, you all heard what Maya said. There may not be another chance. I'd rather stay on Alpha than end up somewhere in space. Is that the way the rest of you feel? So we're further away in this place. If we're going to get it, we're all going to get it. Anything? No, it's at least six feet thick. Check the door. Hello, uh, You look. Yeah, I look beautiful. I look like a monster. <coughs> I think you look great. Head to another monster. Thanks a lot. <laughs> John, check your temperature, please. Ninety-eight point six. Uh huh. Normal. Yours. <coughs> Get those guards to understand. We need some help. The sound ocean. The sound ocean. Restart. We could just get your temperature down. It won't matter in the long run. I'm talking about now and the next hour, not the next week. So am I. My guess is that it's viral pneumonia. Pneumonia? <coughs> What's the cure? If we were an alpha, it would be so simple. What is it, Helena? Is that a fungus? Scrape some of that off. It could be. Could be what? Fungoids are the basis for the barmycin range of drugs, which were discovered just before we left Earth. The only known cure for viral pneumonia. Supposing it is a variant of the same fungoid. How do you prepare the drug? You need heat, any vegetable fiber, and so 
something like this. It's rudimentary, but it, it could stave it off until Dr. Logan can recalculate his error. Heat. Means we've got to get out of this place in order to build a fire. No chance. Walls are solid rock. Ten inches of seasoned timber in that door. Even if we were sure that it was safe to move. Okay, Helena. You're the doctor. How many hours? Six. Eight. John, if you don't get out of here, you'll be dead too. Just that I'd like us to stop. Yeah. again, Doctor. You've run your seismic reconstruction. On that basis, you recalculated again and again. And the answer's the same each time. Earth. But it isn't possible. Because they're still alive. Exactly. Now the fungus. How's that? What is it, Helen? It's the moon. Helena, we've left the moon. It's the moon. She's delirious. Let's give her some of that. Moon, John. Moon. Here, have some of this. It's a moon. It's a moon, Helena, but it's not our moon. This planet can have six or seven moons. It's a moon. Hey, that mountain could almost be Copernicus. And the Mari Emerium above it. It's our moon, Alan. If that's the moon, then this is the Earth after all. The life forms we've seen don't just coincidentally resemble us. Right. It can't be. It broke away. The moon broke out of the Earth's orbit. In 1999. Then this is the Earth. Before the moon broke away. We may be hundreds of years back in time. The possibility that they landed on a planet with breathable atmosphere are one in a billion. And you think they're on Earth? probability that they're alive elsewhere is almost unacceptable. Then why can't Logan find them? Perhaps he's searching in the wrong time. <laughs> 
I can't accept that they're on Earth in some time in the distant past. Or the future. Look, you know that they can't live on the Earth's surface in present conditions. And we know that they are still alive. So please, rethink your calculations. And remember, Dr. Logan, we have only ten hours. If you're wrong, there'll be no time for any recalculation. I'll take that risk, Doctor. All right. We'll go your way. Okay, if this is Earth, where on Earth? And when? I'd say we're fairly far north. Yeah, the people seem European. Time for some more. How are you feeling? Like I'm coming back from the dead. It worked. Your temperature down? John, look. They're switching on and off. Well, they can't all be malfunctioning at the same time. It's Alpha. Try to make contact. So you're the English fugitives who thought to cheat me of a fat ransom. Keep it going. What good will it do? Can they tell us where they are? And at what point in time? And you keep signaling. Let them know that we're still searching. Gentlefolk, that's clear. And worth a pretty penny in ransom to some great lord in England. But there's one thing I still don't understand. How are you feeling? Rotten. My temperature's up. Why do three English travel Scotland without armed escort? You must know you'd make fair hostages to any Scottish clan. Yes, sir. Uh... Explain that, Alan. Uh, well, would you believe we lost our way? <laughs> no, my friends. But I believe that one of you was running away with the wife of some great English lord. Hey, now, wait a minute. And that lord would pay much gold to get her back. <sighs> no, it's just not like that. Then why do you disguise yourselves in that strange garb? And the lady dressed in men's clothes and speak in that odd manner. Alan. With the last flicker of that candle, the old year runs out. Let's drink that this new year will better it. Hamigold, just launch a renewal. He's looking at you. Slange. Your language? The Gaelic. Scotland's language. I learned your tongue a quarter century ago to the year as chief castellan for the English prisoners after our victory at Bannockburn. To to Hogan, the river Bruce, Agus Blar, Altavonich, Robert Bruce and Bannockburn. Robert Bruce and Bannockburn. Bannockburn. When was the battle fought? Bannockburn. I can't remember. It's a long while since I was at school, John. New Year's Day, 25 years after Bannockburn. If we can get that message to Maya, Logan's computer will know. <laughs> what plaything is this? 
You too, my lady. Is the lady sick? She has been. She needs some sleep. I ask you, is the lady sick? Give her some shelter where she can rest. Put some guards on it if you like. I understand now. The lady has the plague. Get on the marsh! Burn them! Get on the marsh! That's why you were wandering the forest. Turned out by some great lord to die. Get on the marsh! Thirty minutes before the eclipse begins. I think we all have to accept that we have no hope of recovering them now. No, Doctor. We accept nothing until that eclipse actually takes place. It's not the plague, I tell you. She can be cured. It's not the plague! I tell you, stop the plague! Kill Susan. It's not the plague. She can be cured. Get on the marsh. Push it in each. Go on and beat it. For the pestilence, there's only one cure. anything to you? Just some sort of code. Anybody? Does anybody get that? Wait a minute. It's the old Morse code. Morse code? An old form of signal. We used to learn it as astronaut cadets. Maya, the computer. Scotland? It's the British Isles. Location established. Scotland. Carla, recalibrate. Scotland. Bannockburn plus 25. Dr. Logan, do you read me? Bannockburn plus 25. 1314 plus 25, 1339. Scotland, 1339. Transfer procedure green. Alpha. 
Texas City calling Moon Base Alpha. This is our final transmission. All channels will now close. Goodbye, Texas City. Thanks anyway. Helena, we're going to toast your recovery. Short-lived recovery if she's going to have any of that. Oh, you're starting that again, huh? Alien. Ah, John. Have a drink. <laughs> On your scale of one to ten, where are you now? Oh. <laughs> uh, would you believe still two? Oh, how about five? No, thank you. No, your problem, no sense of adventure. You're not giving up, Tony, are you? Oh, no, no, no. He's just going back to the drawing board. Mm -hmm. Pilots. Better. Hmm. You know, when I think about all the events we could have been part of, what rotten luck to have drawn Scotland in 1339. Uh, sure, we could have caught the massacre of St. Bartholomew, the Spanish Inquisition, the retreat from Moscow, the... Sinking of the Titanic, the storming of the Bastille. Okay. The London Blitz. Okay, you win. The history like that. Who wants to go back to Earth anyway?